The sun rising over a soggy festival ground. A welcome sight for punters partying in the desert. The mud has turned to clay and they've got their dancing shoes on. But it hasn't all been smooth sailing. Some got a little more adventure than they bargained for on the drive-in. I went into the slush and I lost speed and I was bogged. Festival goers who've made the trek to Birdsville in remote far western Queensland don't seem to mind the conditions. The atmosphere's been great. Yeah. I've not heard a complaint from anyone. The mud underfoot, a familiar feeling for bash organisers. It did rain pretty much on the exact same day last year and I think the odds of that must be a million to one. Some big Aussie names are set to take the stage this week, but this festival is about much more. The music, the adventure, just meeting people and having a great time. But it isn't immune to the pains felt by music festivals across the industry. 8,000 people are at this year's festival, down compared to last year. At least, you know, we are running, which is great. You know, there's been a number of big festivals that have... Uh, that are not continuing. Big bash organisers are raising funds for type 1 diabetes research and the Royal Flying Doctor service. We have clear skies today and for the next couple of days, but the rain is forecast to return by the end of the week. Not that attendees seem too concerned about that. We're camping with people in their 70s. We're having a great time with them. Oh, they are awesome. Whatever we didn't bring, they've got it for sure. So <laughs> we're set. Peter Quattrocelli, ABC News. Birdsville.